Hey, I'm so glad you're back. Uh, it's a beautiful day to do some CAD drawing and we need to convert this into a blueprint so we can print it out and we can um, copy your lines onto your block that we can use for, uh, for actually building this thing. So let's do that. In order to convert this into a dr printable drawing, we're going to go down here to the plus button on the bottom row here. We're going to insert a new element and we want to create a drawing. Okay. Now we drew this using um, our standard or imperial uh, system with inches. We can do the same thing with metric, just the dimensions will be different than what we did in our video. So we're going to print this because the rulers we have in our shop are, are inches. So we're going to use the ANSI template for it. Now, if you don't have that under your all because you haven't used it yet, you can find them in here, ANSI. You can find all the templates um, by clicking on that, and it should be right here on the top because these are all alphabetical. So we want ANSI. A is perfectly fine. No views is fine. We're going to click and accept that. Now, this is putting this into our, our layout view and uh, under certain circumstances, we use all, we'd use three separate layouts and an isometric view. We are going to be, we were working on this wood block drawing. That's the one that my mine has, because I have multiple ones on the bottom. So just make sure you have the right one here. If it's giving you choices, you're going to click on, on the one you want to do. I'm going to click on this and it's attaching it here. Now that's tiny. Um, this is the right view. I want to double check a few things before I actually click onto my paper here. I want to make this one to one because I want to be able to print it out on our printer and trace these lines onto the paper, uh, right onto my block. So one to one means it's full size. Okay. Because our paper is 11 inches, even if you did yours a full 10 inches, um, it's going to, it's going to reach. Okay. The other thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I am on front view for this, okay? Because that's how we sketch it. We want to be able to put this on the front of our block. And I'm going to bring this down close to here and kind of center it on the bottom. And click. Okay, it accepted that view. Now it's giving me a second view um, attached to my drawing. This is my top view, top or bottom view. It um, Either one doesn't really matter. I like this view because it gives me the full cutout of around my CO2 cartridge. So I can, I can print this out and it's going to line them up for me. I can print this out and, um, and tape it to the top. I can tape it to the bottom. I can make two copies, one for the top and bottom, and I am ready to, to start cutting. Okay. We're going to do a couple other things just to, uh, add the professional touch here. I'm going to go into the title. My name should already be there. Double check to make sure your name is there because you're going to submit one of these to the class. We're going to, I'm going to print this um, for our records and we're going to uh, maybe make a poster and we need to put a title. So you're in your title. You're going to tell me, uh, I want it. I like the middle one personally. It's a record of choice. I'm going to click on the middle. It doesn't always line up with the cursor though. Uh, and I'm going to put CO2 car, but uh, tell me what type of car you have. So if yours is a wood block and mine is, mine is only nine inches. So I would be able to actually 3d print this as, a uh, on our 3d printer, it should print. Okay. Uh, 3d wood car, CO2 wood car. Um, or three CO2 plastic car. And then you can hit enter and uh, green key to accept that. Now, do I need to put my dimensions in here? I don't because um, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't because this is gonna be printed out for, for me to view. However, there's a few things that I want uh, you to dimension for me because we need to make sure that this passes inspection. Okay. So let's have you dimension the back of the car uh, around the CO2 car compartment. I'm going to do that here. Okay. There's one. 
because I'm going to look at that and make sure it passes inspection. I'm going to do it here as well. Okay, because maybe you have your skinnier. And, and my dimensions are different from, from here to here. But it passes. Okay, that's the minimum. And I'm going to have you do the height of your platform. Okay, remember that has to be a minimum of half inch. So mine shows up as 0.6. And I'm going to have you do the width of your bars running from the front to the back. So here's one. And I can leave that right here in the middle or I can put it out in the front. Okay. Oh, I don't like it there. Um, I'll move that in a minute. Let me finish dimensioning these. So there's that one. You know what? I'm going to leave this in the middle. Watch this. Um, and I'll tell you why. And I want to do one for the full width of my axles. So axle to axle, because we have to make sure this is full width. So that's going to need to be 1.875. Okay. I'm going to escape out of my dimensioning tool. So the dimension tool looks the same as in the other drawing. Um, I'm going to grab this and just line these up here. There. Um, then those line up a little neater. Is there anything else I really need to, to dimension? Not really. Um, that's, that's enough for me to kind of do a quick inspection. Oh, you know what? Maybe the, um, center of my axles, just to make sure that they're the right height from the bottom. Um, okay. And you do one of those axles and that's plenty. And that's it. Um, I will also be able to get in here because you shared your drawing with me. And if I have any doubts, um, like let's say your wood block car looks a little different than what you, your plan was. Let's say I wanted to make sure that that you had enough clearance in between the where your cut is going to be. I can come up and I can add some some work and, and check your your blueprints with the dimensioning tool as well. So, um, but if you get those dimensions in for me, it will give me at a glance. I'll be able to tell if it passes. If you have one solid bar in the middle, remember it needs to be at least three eighths of an inch, which is going to be 0.375. I got 0.2 and 0.2, which comes out to 0.4. So 0.4 is bigger than 0.375. And so I know that this passes. And then I'll be able to check with my my um, calipers and I'll make sure that your cuts all turn out this, the right size that you have this drawn. Um, when this is finished, you are, if you shared it with me, I will have access. We can at school then, I can log on to the printer and we can print these all off. And, uh, and you'll have it approved and you can start drawing on a piece of wood. As soon as you get this turned in and you uh, have this ready to print, you will receive your block of wood and um, it'll be first come first serve for who gets to pick out their wood. So I look forward uh, to getting you this far and this might have been the tedious part of the project and some of you are more hands-on, but uh, hey, I'm proud of what you did so far and I'm looking forward to the contest. I can't wait to see how, how your cars perform. Thanks and look forward to seeing you in the next one.